Hello my young friends, it has been over 28 hours since the CBSE took the big and important decision to cancel the class 10 board examinations and postpone the class 12 board examinations. The decision for class 12 will be taken after the 1st of June. Now the ICSC oblique ISC and the state board students across the country are waiting with bated breath. They want to know what will be the fate of their class 10 and class 12 examinations. I can tell you that most students have stopped studying and understandably so because the momentum has been lost. They are no longer in that zone where they want to study, right? Now the question is that if a national board like the CBSC does not think that the examinations can be conducted in the month of May 2021 safely for the students, the examiners, the entire examination staff, how can another national board, that is the ICSC Council, have a different opinion, right? We are talking of two national boards here. And given the fact that the number of cases where it is even being recommended in some cities and states that you need to wear a mask even while you are at home, how can any state now say that I can afford to conduct the examination for the state board students where the number of students, mind you, is much larger? is much larger so that is something which you need to bear in mind also the ICSC council usually follows what the CBSE does so it was but natural for the students to assume that the ICSC council will follow in the footsteps of the CBSE's decision now point number one I think the state boards and the ICSC council needs to cancel the class 10 board examinations immediately because it's not fair to hold the students to ransom like this. You cannot take so long to arrive at a decision which has been taken at the level of the Prime Minister, no less, right? Uh, when the bigger board, the CBSC, has already decided that the situation in the country, in all the states, in all the union territories, is not conducive to conduct this examination. Now, the chief ministers and the education ministers in different states should really take some time off their other work, governance, politics, elections and decide on this matter as soon as possible because this is equally urgent if not more uh, because board examinations you would agree cause a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety for students, parents and teachers and you really need to be compassionate and understanding and considerate about this uh, and it's also about a level playing field isn't it now what do I mean by a level playing field you cannot have a situation where so many students more than 18 lakh students in class 10 CBSC do not have to take the examination and they would be marked according to some vague uh, internal objective criteria and suppose if the other students are made to take the examinations they would be marked as per their performance in the annual board examinations. You need to have a level playing field for all class 10 students across the country, right? If you're holding examinations for some, you cannot be ho not holding examinations for the other students. Also, class 11 is an important milestone here because that's when most of these students, especially those who are going to prepare for the entrance examinations like NEET, JE, CLAT, etc., they start getting into that frame of mind, that mode, right? So if you are going to postpone these class 10 examinations to much later, you are actually eating into their preparation time by the time they appear for these examinations two years hence in 2023. Uh, so that again is not being fair to this batch of 2021. Now, the point essentially is, if the union government at the level of the prime minister, at the level of the union education minister could take the decision after a meeting which lasted approximately, I'm told about 45 minutes, why should the ICSC council, why should the different state boards and the state governments take so long? You really need to think of these 15 year olds, these 15 year old young citizens of our country. I hope you are listening. Thank you very much for watching.